Please welcome to the stage Chelsea McMullen, Sean O'Neill, Nev Campbell, Karen Kane, Hergita Dronina, Shay Estrada, Tene Ward. We're going to ask a few questions for this uh, lovely, lovely team upstage. Chelsea, a first question for you. Your signature as a filmmaker is your very original and creatively risk-taking approach. Can you talk a little bit about what was, uh, what part of making Swan Song was most exciting for you? Um, I mean, okay, first of all, of course, Karen Kane, legendary legend. Like, that's a very exciting proposition, an artist of her standing. But when Sean and I were conceiving of this idea, we wanted to make something really big that had scale. And um, we were talking back and forth, and Sean was like, Karen Kane's making this, like, final, like, um, production of Swan Lake, and it's her goodbye to the company, and there's all these stakes. And, this idea of like following something organic that had a natural arc in a more cinema verite approach was something I hadn't done before, but I was just itching to do. Um, and having the rawness of the process in contrast with, I think I bring a visual style as a director. So to sink my teeth into sort of trying to capture Karen's vision of Swan Lake in contrast with the sort of rawness of the process of getting to the stage was, uh, yeah, very exciting to me creatively. Well, I know you've done uh, many films in the past. Uh, Chelsea and I have also worked together <laughs> and in the past. And like the reason so I, I have share. a career, so no big deal. <laughs> And you've worked with different per performance elements, I think in really unique ways, and I feel like this is such a fantastic accomplishment. So congratulations. Thank you so much. And Ms. Kane, <laughs> I'm going to approach. Um, when did you first see the film, and what was your first impression? Two weeks ago. Two, two weeks ago. Um, and I was very relieved. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I forgot, I forgot about how often the people were in the room with me and the cameras and I was just doing the work and then I just had no idea um, what I was doing or saying or how I was acting and I was just really concerned that it would be embarrassing. Um, <laughs> but I am, I am so delighted with the film. I think it really captures the process and the, and the struggles with the process. And, um, and uh, I'm so happy to see my, the dancers again and my colleagues and all of the people that supported me through the whole, the whole thing. It just, um, yeah, it was, it was the last thing I did after 50 years in the National Ballet of Canada. So it's, it's a very poignant thing for me. I'm sure that was a big relief to uh, Chelsea and Sean. Having been a documentary producer myself for many years, I know how terrifying it is when you're about to show the film to your main subject. So <laughs> that sounds wonderful. Deeply terrifying, <laughs> yes. Deeply, deeply terrifying. <laughs> Um, this question is for uh, Nev. As a former ballet dancer who was in residence, my understanding is, at the National Ballet of Canada, how does this experience uh, that you see on screen compare to yours? I think they did an incredible job. We. <laughs> we. <laughs> um, these dancers are such incredible athletes and artists, and as you can see in this film, it is 
incredibly trying. Um, phenomenal what these dancers put themselves through. Um, very challenging and takes great spirit and great strength to a level that I think not many of us uh, will ever know. Uh, and I, you know, that was certainly part of being at the ballet school was the challenge, you know, the challenge is there. Um, so I, I definitely feel it was captured here. I'm very grateful to have been a part of it. Well, then I'm going to go directly then to the dancers. Um, your personal stories reflected in the film really bring an intimacy, I think, to the film in a lovely balance. Can you speak a little bit about what that filmmaking process was for you, and how does it feel now seeing your own personal story reflected on screen? I'd love to hear that from each of you. Okay, damn. Uh, <laughs> I'll go first. Um, yeah, it was awesome. The whole like film process was great because Chelsea and Sean and like Lucy, Shady, Tess, all of everyone was fucking amazing and like I just like feel like I made a bunch of like best friends and yeah it was awesome. It felt so cool to like have people actually see the core girls and like see how hard we work and like how much camaraderie and like love we have for each other and for what we do. So it was so I guess it's me. Um, yeah, I think the same as Shay. It was an extremely special experience and the entire team made us feel so welcomed and to feel so seen in an industry that rarely accepts who I am um, is very, very special. And to be alongside such incredible artists in a company that has inspired me for years and years and will continue to inspire me. Um, it's very exciting to see it fully formed on the screen. I think for me personally, it was a lot about building trust because it's not easy to let people into your personal uh, feelings and life and, and experiences. So these guys have a gift of, of, of really listening and understanding and making sure that uh, there is a two-sided respect. And, uh, and that really showed, I think, in a movie of how much love they had for what they're filming and how much respect they have. And I think as... Uh, as the lady said, uh, we really built a, a friendship for life. And uh, at one point, I forgot that we have cameras at all. So you just yourself all the time, every, every single day, trusting that uh, it will come out the way it is, the truth. Thank you. We love you. We love you guys. Sean's swan song is a world premiere here at TIFF. What are your hopes for the film moving forward? I want as many people to see it as possible, so y'all, please help with that. Um, I mean, already, honestly, this has exceeded our wildest dreams. You know, it's being here at TIFF, being in a gala, it's so extraordinary, and, you know, the film's playing at every festival across Canada. We're having an international premiere in London in October. Karen has the cutest outfit for it, I can confirm. <laughs> um, so it's been extraordinary already, and, and to know that you know people will be able to go deeper on the CBC. There's just so many ways to access this film. Um, so I don't know, I hope it lives in people's hearts, you know, and even people who don't know anything about ballet, hopefully you can watch it and just feel a good story unfold in front of them. Wonderful, thank you so much. I'm checking if we've got a little bit of time to take a couple of questions from the audience. And I think we do. Yes, so right up front here, yes. I you talk about the filming of the actual opening night and how you avoided it impacting the audience watching the show. How did you film the opening and not have it impact the actual show? Yes? Good question. <laughs> um, so 
We filmed uh, one sort of specific dress rehearsal that was done for the camera, so some of those bigger, wide, um, we actually used a cable cam um, to capture the sort of big proscenium, gorgeous kind of gliding shots. Um, and then on opening night, we shot uh, six, cam eight cameras, eight cameras backstage, um, one following each of our characters, um, and then and then multiple roving cameras as well. And so, yeah, we really wanted it to feel like um, the experience of uh, not so much sort of literally watching, you know, we didn't want it to feel like a live capture, that's the thing we were avoiding, but we wanted it to feel immersive, like the experience of what it would feel like to watch it and make it, um, and Sean coined the best term for it because we were really like, it was hard <laughs> to cut especially, to sort of condense it down was truly my nightmare. <laughs> um, and I think we spent like three weeks cutting it and uh, at one point I was like getting close and Sean was, and I were talking every night and then he said, Chelsea, it's a battle scene. And then we watched Lord of the Rings, me <laughs> and the editors, and then we cut the shit out of it. <laughs> Take one short question right there. Yes. How important was it to you to portray a working mother? I mean, I think it was important to portray the reality of your. <laughs> Sorry, Yogita, let me just speak for you. <laughs> Love you, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think uh, it was very important, uh, and for one, a very big reason, how uh, when I arrived to Canada, I had one son, Damien, and how supportive Karen always was towards uh, actual reality that ballerinas can have a life, can have a children, can have it both, and at the highest level. And uh, to show that in the movie, it was extremely important to break stereotypes. We will have to wrap it up with this, but thank you so much. Swan song, everybody.